With these lower numbers, health experts are starting to change protocols that were created during the height of the pandemic. UAMS will be closing their original COVID-19 vaccine clinic and testing location. THV 11's Jay Jackson has more on how things are looking up with the case numbers finally going down. It's the UAMS vaccine clinic here that will close tomorrow by 4 o'clock p.m. while the drive through testing site will close next Friday by 4 o'clock p.m. Just the demand has dropped fairly dramatically over the last four to six weeks. UAMS opened its first drive through testing site this time two years ago. It's where they conducted more than 174,000 tests. It's been remarkable that we were able to start that in March of 2020 with the widespread availability of home testing. Um, the demand isn't there. So what we're actually going to do is just move that portion of our testing platform to our Monroe Clinic. Michelle Krauss, a lead for UAMS's COVID response team, says they will still have the ability to test employees, patients who need to be tested before medical procedures, and offer community vaccines at their Monroe Street building location. But having a separate vaccine clinic um, with such low demand um, allows us to use a, move those employees back to other clinical areas where we can help serve our patients. UAMS opened its first COVID vaccination clinic in January of last year in the Freeway Medical Tower. COVID-19 vaccines will continue in all of their primary care clinics throughout the state. It's been a great relief for us, um, especially when January and February were challenging months. Um, for those who work in the hospital. In the event that another surge happens, Krause says that they're ready to readjust back, but she's hoping they won't have to. I'm cautiously optimistic that um, we'll be able to manage COVID and not have um, the challenges that we've had in the previous surges, but we'll, we'll see. In Little Rock, Jay Jackson, THV 11 News. Again, the UAMS vaccine clinic at the Monroe building will close Friday at 4 p.m. and the drive-through testing site will close next Friday at 4 as well.